Welcome to this tutorial where we'll show you how to export a shape reflector antenna from Satsoft into a POS project. We'll show how it's possible to export both a single and a dual reflector and we'll inspect the projects in POS. The project we'll look at is the same that we generated in the tutorial called Shape Reflector Model in Satsoft. You'll find a link to that tutorial in the description below this video. In Satsoft, I start by opening the Shape Reflector project created in the other tutorial. First, we go to the model properties and inspect the setup of the antenna. In the tab Single Reflector Properties, we see the antenna configuration that was used in the Satsoft model. We see that it's 2 meter in diameter and with a focal length of 2.5 meters. The view can be changed between a view from the back of the antenna and a view from the side. We can now go to the tab Dual Reflector Properties. In this tab we can set up a dual reflector system for use in the export to POS and GRASP. The diameter of the main reflector and the frequency are both copied from the Single Reflector Properties tab. We change the remaining values to a focal length of 2.5 meter, an angle between the axis of 3.5 degrees a distance between the foci of 0.75 meter and a sub-reflector eccentricity of 0.5. Again, we can inspect the geometry from behind the antenna and from the side by clicking the arrows below the image to the right and ensure ourselves that we have a blockage-free design. Now let me show you how to export the antenna to a POS project. This is done either from the file menu or by right-clicking the antenna in the object tree. First we export a single reflector to the desktop. I call this one Shaped Single. Then we export the dual reflector by simply checking the Export Dual Reflector checkbox. I call that project Shaped Dual. Now we can go to POS, inspect the projects we just exported. First we open the Single Offset Reflector project. We see it contains the full antenna geometry, as well as all the necessary optimization objects. If we inspect the optimization object closer, we see that it's set up with the shaping of the main reflector. It also has predefined coordinate systems that can be used to optimize the feet and reflector positions. These are not active though in the default setting. I click play to run the optimization. In this past project, it is set to stop after 100 iterations, while in Satsoft, the design is limited to 50 iterations. In POS, you have the option to include a more precise model for the feed, for example, from our CHAMP program. You can also design the antenna in more detail than you can in Satsoft, for example, by constraining the minimum radius of curvature and adjusting the number of splines in the optimization. You can also add holes if you have hold down and release mechanisms. This will make the final design more realistic. As you can see, POS has already optimized the shape and we can investigate the results in the results tab. You are now able to import the POS generated grid file to see the pattern in Satsoft. But for the sake of this video tutorial, I'll show you the dual reflector in POS instead. When we open the dual reflector project, we see that it contains the full dual antenna. In the optimization object, we can see that the default settings will optimize the shape of both the sub and the main reflector. The project is prepared for also optimizing the position of the feed, the sub and the main reflector, though these settings must be activated by the user. Just as it was the case for the single reflector, the design optimization can be done by clicking the play button. This concludes our short introduction on how to export from Satsoft to POS or GRASP. For more information, feel free to contact us at info at tigra.com. Thank you very much for watching.